Pirates of the Caribbean is finally actually officially in game. You can play it right now. Of course, we already had Elizabeth Swan, Captain Barbosa, and Davy Jones available to purchase in the item shop. But you can now also purchase the mini pass, which includes Jack Sparrow, a back bling pickaxe, two emotes, a banner icon, and level ups. If you don't want to pay the 1,000 V-Bucks for it, though, you can also participate in the free track and receive two back blings, a keytar, pickaxes, a loading screen, a spray, and level ups. Honestly, it's a really solid mini pass, paid or not. If you're looking for something new to do in-game, though, you can check out Shipwreck Shallows, where you can find Jack Sparrow's ship and a small port town. This is a super cute area to check out and get all the new quests done. Also here marooned on an island is Captain Barbosa, who will sell you an apple, a buried treasure map, or shockwave grenades. You can also find three other new NPCs on the map. Elizabeth Swan hangs out in Pleasant Piazza and sells Crash Pad Juniors, Shield Bubble Juniors, and the Buried Treasure Map. Davy Jones can be found near the underworld and sells access to a rift or a buried treasure map. And lastly, you can find Jack Sparrow on the backside of Mount Olympus who sells the treasure map, a ship in the bottle mythic, and a prop disguise. Jack's little hideout also serves as a kind of second mini new POI. It has another ship as well as a hidden cave that you can enter and find treasure in. Both of these new POIs are really hot right now, so it's kind of hard to enjoy the scenery, but I can tell for myself at least I'm going to be dropping at both of these locations quite a lot. Especially right now, you can find a good mix of loot including shields and heals as well as the new mythics. And not to mention everything just looks so aesthetically pleasing. I don't know, I just, I really like the vibes. <laughs> Speaking of the new items, we got the Flintknock in-game a few days ago, but now you can also pick up the ship in a bottle, which upon use unleashes a ghostly ship that crashes through anything in its way, including opponents. It's not very long-lasting, but it is extremely distracting and could potentially turn the tides of war in your favor. It is only one use, though, and does not stack in your inventory. Another item I've mentioned a few times now is the treasure map, which isn't new, but we haven't seen it in a while. You can find these in some chests or purchase them from the NPCs I listed earlier. Once you have a map, it will lead you to a giant X where you must dig up the chest using your pickaxe. These chests seem to yield shields, a flint knock, and a ship in the bottle, among other things. So it's definitely worth picking up if you're trying to complete the new quests. We also have the cannons back, which I don't really care for, but they do match the theme, so they get a pass. As mentioned before, we do have new quests, with the first batch being out now and more coming out over the next week or so. 
These are pretty easy to complete. I got through most of them within an hour just recording footage for this video. Not necessarily grinding for them, but once you do complete them, you'll get a bunch of XP as well as cursed gold and map pieces for the mini pass, which if you would like my full thoughts on, you can check out the video linked in the description or in the end card. If you want a TLDR on that though, as stated before, I think it's a really good mini pass. I I like all of the items that it comes with, and this is one of the few where I feel like the free pass is almost better than the paid for, but let me know what you guys think. There are also a few other minor details that have been added into the game, but I would say this is pretty much everything that you need to know for now. And if you made it to the end of this video, comment and let me know which pirate skin is your favorite. Of course, I am partial to Elizabeth Swan, and she is probably the skin I will use the most because I do generally just use the female skins, but Jack does look really, really good. I I was playing as him earlier, and I was like, dang, he just looks really good. I just wish Elizabeth was a little more detailed, but of course, like, they all look really, really good, so who am I kidding, you know? <laughs> you know who would look really, really good, though? Will Turner. Now that's a good-looking skin, potentially. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, definitely let me know. If you guys want more short little videos about this in the future regarding updates, definitely let me know in the comments. I I want to do stuff that you guys want. This is just information, and if you guys need information, I don't know, let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please, please subscribe. I am trying to hit a thousand before the end of the month. And if you liked it, definitely like it. And I will see you guys later today for the item shop upload. Until then, though, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will see you guys then. Bye.